Columbia. This is Gamecock Athletics Director Ray Tanner, and you're listening to 107.5 The Game, a Cumulus Media Station. Back in Cleveland, Brad Muller joined by Don Staley, head coach of the Gamecocks, as Carolina gets set to take on Iowa in the national championship. And coach, coming off the, the nice win here the other night against NC State, an explosive third quarter. What was the difference in that third quarter? Um, the difference was we just simplified, simplified offensively. I thought we were just uh, just holding on to the ball too much and trying to make something happen off ball screen action that that wasn't happening, and we got the ball um, less into Camilla um, because of that. And the moment we um, flipped the switch and, and got her the ball, I think everything else seems to open up for us, and we did we just concentrated on getting her the ball in third quarter, and then. Our defense picked up. Your bigs were so big in that game with what Camilla was doing and what Ashland was doing, especially on the glass. What do you want to see from them today? I like a repeat performance. <laughs> <laughs> um, just the same kind of energy, the same kind of um, just, you know, um, zest to going to get the ball, zest and going to um, get a basket. Um, so that, just stay in character. They don't have to do anything more, anything less. Um, if we get that kind of performance from, from Camilla and Ash, we win a basketball game. If it's possible to have a quiet 21 points, maybe that's a little bit of Caitlin's game the other night. UConn did a great job defensively, I thought, especially uh, in the first half, even though she still put up some good numbers. No one totally shuts her down, but what do you want to see from us against Caitlin Clark? Um, just, just make it hard. Just make, make, make uh, shooting um, her, her airspace, close that out. Um, collapse on driving lanes and passing lanes for her to to make her, her, her teammates better. I mean, it's a hard feat. We just got to continue to give her good looks and try to get her to take take as many um, bad shots and have an um, inefficient night from, from a shooting perspective. You talk about how she can make uh, the rest of her teammates better because she gets so much attention. And Stolke, uh, their big, was playing very well for them as well and uh, getting some high percentage shots. What are the, uh, some other key matchups for South Carolina, I guess, to not let someone else have a big night? I mean, I mean, they're, they're all key because they all can stretch the floor. They all can catch and shoot threes, and um, several of them can put the ball on the floor. Um, I think it's important for us to stay in character with us um, and to, to have confidence in – our ability to score the basketball, to make to make good plays, to defend um, over a 40-minute period. We just can't forget about the things that we do well. We know it's a it's a known fact what what Caitlin does. Um, it's also a known fact what what our team does as a whole. So we got to play to the strength of um, what makes us special. Coach, good luck tonight. Let's get another win. Thanks, Brad. Don Staley, head coach of the Gamecocks, back with the starting lineups after we take this time out. It's Carolina basketball from Learfield. We're counting you down to the national championship game. We are at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio, for the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball National Championship. The number one South Carolina Gamecocks taking on the number two Iowa Hawkeyes for it all. Gamecocks are looking for their third national championship after taking home titles in 2017 and 2022. Iowa making its second straight appearance in the national championship game is looking for its first ever national championship. In fact, I was the first program in the Big Ten to compete in back-to-back -back national championships. And you know the story if you're just joining us. They're led by National Player of the Year, Caitlin Clark. He leads the nation in scoring and assists and three-pointers made. She has made 196 three-pointers on the season, but can also uh, help her friends out, as we like to say, averaging nearly nine assists per contest to uh, get other scorers involved. They are here after holding off the three seed UConn in the national semifinals the other night, 71 to 69. South Carolina got here after knocking off a very good NC State team, 78-59, a one point game at halftime. The Gamecocks used a 17 to one run in the third quarter to pull away and held on for that. Again, just the third ever meeting between the two schools. First meeting back in 1989 at a tournament in December. South Carolina won that one 82-76. But last year, Iowa defeated the Gamecocks in the national semifinals 77-73 behind 41 points from Caitlin Clark. Zia Cook led the Gamecocks with 24 points in a losing effort. Only a Boston had 8 points, 10 rebounds, and Camilla Cardoso had 
14 points and 14 rebounds. Pack house here in Cleveland, and it's going to feel like more of a home game for Iowa as the black and gold have helped fill this arena. It got really loud in here the other night in their win over UConn as uh, they have dominated the seats here, if you will, uh, the black and gold of the Iowa Hawkeyes. But still a good contingent of Garnet and Black have made their way up to Cleveland as well. Everyone standing now as we're going to get set for our national anthem, and then we'll have the starting lineups here as South Carolina gets set to take on the Iowa Hawkeyes for the second straight year, trying to remain unbeaten. The Gamecocks hoping to become the 10th team and the fifth program to do that, to go undefeated and win the national championship. We'll pause here for our national anthem and then get you the starting lineups as they unfold a huge American flag at center court. Both teams standing in front of their respective benches, and the flag... A color guard out at uh, midcourt as well, just beyond where the flag will stretch out. So after our national anthem, we'll get you the starting lineups and tip off the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball National Championship. And here is your national anthem. rendition of our national anthem here in Cleveland in a packed house here at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse as we get you set for the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball National Championship. Sold out, 18,000 strong here once again for the final game of the season. South Carolina taking on Iowa. Second straight year these two teams have met in the final weekend of the season, but this one's for all the marbles. Gamecocks looking for their third national championship. Hawkeyes looking for their first. Let's get you the starting lineups. First for the Iowa Hawkeyes coming in at 34 and four on the season under the direction of 24th year head coach, Lisa Bluter. And here's how they will line up. It's a four guard lineup. And one guard, three, Sydney of Falter, five even junior from Chicago at Ameris High School. 8.3 points, six and a half rebounds per contest. She's 42% from three-point range. Another guard who can shoot it, number 20, Kate Martin, six-foot graduate student from Edwardsville, Illinois, out of Edwardsville High School. Her second team, all Big Ten selections uh, honors this year. She's averaging 13 points, 6.8 rebounds per contest. She has hit 50 three-pointers on the season, had a big game in their Elite Eight win over LSU with 21 points. Another guard, number 24, is Gabby Marshall, 5'10", a fifth-year senior from Cincinnati out of Mount Notre Dame High School. First Iowa player with 203 point field goals made and 200 steals in her career. She's sixth in Iowa history in career steals, averaging 6.1 points per game. But when she shoots it, she shoots it well. Has made 63 three-pointers on the season, and that is second only to, you know who, Caitlin Clark, number 22, the six-foot senior from West Des Moines, Iowa, out of Dowling High School. First team All-American, two-time National Player of the Year, three-time Big Ten Player of the Year. Leads the nation in scoring with 31.7 points per game. Seventh in the Big Ten with 7.3 rebounds. Leads the nation with 8.9 assists per contest. Also leads the nation with 196 
three-pointers made. Unbelievable what she has done. She has scored more than 20 points in every game this season and has 22 double-doubles. More than 3,900 points in her career is the most in NCAA Division I basketball history, men's or women's. And in the middle, someone who's been playing very well, number 45, Hannah Stolke, 6'2", sophomore from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Transfer from Washington, earned second team all Big Ten selection uh, honors this year, averaging 14.1 points per game. Tenth in the Big Ten with 6.7 rebounds per contest. Has eight 20-point games, including 23 points in their win against UConn. Hawkeyes wearing their black uniforms with gold trim, gold and white trim down the side of the uniform. They'll be moving from left to right in the first half as we look at them from above and behind the official scores table. We are at the front of the second tier here at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. So a little bit elevated and behind the official scores table, kind of opposite of what you're seeing on TV, if that makes sense. The Final Four logo is upside down from our perspective. For Coach John Staley's Gamecocks coming in at 37-0, trying to become the 10th team in the fifth program to go undefeated and win the national championship. It's the more usual starting lineup. Point guard, number 25, Raven Johnson, the 5'8 redshirt sophomore from Atlanta at a Westlake High School. Where she was a McDonald's High School All-American, earned second team All-SEC honors this year. 8.2 points, 5.2 rebounds, third in the SEC with 4.9 assists per contest. Add another guard, number zero, Tahina Palpal, 5'9 senior from Oceanside, California, from La Jolla Country Day High School, transferred from Oregon after three years, former McDonald's High School All-American. In her first season with the Gamecocks, earned AP Honorable Mention All-American honors and second team All-SEC honors, averaging 10.9 points. 2.7 rebounds, 3.7 assists, is ninth in the SEC, leads the SEC in three-point shooting. Another guard, number 23, Breezy Hall, six-foot junior from Dayton, Ohio, out of Wayne High School, where she's a McDonald High School All-American. She's got plenty of uh, family in here, back in her home state of Ohio, 9.3 points, three rebounds per contest. At a forward, number 21 is Chloe Kitts, a 6'2 sophomore from Oviedo, Florida, out of DME Academy, nine points, 5.8 rebounds per contest. And in the middle, wearing number 10, of course, Camila Cardoso, the 6'7 senior from Brazil, the former McDonald's High School All-American, earned AP Second Team All-American honors this year, as well as First Team All-SEC and SEC Defensive Player of the Year honors, averaging 14.3 points, 9.5 rebounds, ranked sixth in the SEC, also leads the SEC in block shots per game, has 79 of those on the season. Gamecocks wore in the white uniforms with the homage to cocky uniforms, if you will. It's the uh, garnet numbers trimmed in black, but some garnet and gold trim down the side of the uniform. They will be moving from right to left. Again, we are opposite of your TV view uh, here. We are behind the scores table and elevated on the second level. The starting line is being introduced to the crowd here and a sellout crowd here in Cleveland to watch this basketball game. Your officials for the national championship game, Brenda Patoa, Joseph Facilli, and Angelica Suffren. Those are the three officials who hopefully won't play a factor in the game, if you know what I mean. Well, we've got a moment updating you on some other uh, Gamecock sports scores. Gamecock baseball leading at Texas A&M, leading the third-ranked Aggies in game three of that series at Founders Park, five to one. Gamecock trying to salvage game three after losing the first two games to the third-ranked Aggies. But here we're set for basketball. South Carolina, Iowa for it all. National championship on the line. The Gamecocks in search of their third national championship. Iowa looking for their first. Gamecocks this year making their fourth consecutive trip to the final four and sixth in the last nine tournaments. As Coach Lisa Bluer, Bluter of Iowa and Coach John Staley of South Carolina meet at midcourt for this traditional handshake. All smiles now, but now game face is on as we get set for basketball here. Crowd on its feet here, 18,000 strong, anticipating this matchup. And again, it'll be a, uh, in terms of home court advantage field, more towards Iowa as they certainly have more fans than anybody here. And I think they were able to collect some more tickets from some of the teams that fell in the uh, earlier round as there was a pretty large contingent across from where we're sitting from NC State the other night, but that has mostly been filled in with black and gold. So some folks uh, from Raleigh must have sold their tickets because it is all black and gold uh, in that section that did belong to NC State the other night. It's a three-tiered arena here. And again, just over 18,000 and not a seat to be found. Stolke takes to the jump circle 
for Iowa for the Gamecocks. It'll be Camilla Cardoso as they break their huddle in front of our bench down below us to our right. Waiting for TV to give us permission to play, and we'll get this thing tipped off. Should be fun. What folks wanted to see. Of course, the women's basketball world wanted to see Caitlin Clark here and the Gamecocks as well. Set for the opening tip here. Lead official to the jump circle. Cardoso against Stolke. Ball in the air. Tip controlled by the Gamecocks in the front court. And we're underway in the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball National Championship. Here's Raven in the far corner. Man-to-man -man defense for Iowa. Raven gets it down to Chloe. Working on the baseline. Reverse layup. Puts it too soft off the glass and a rebound to Iowa. Had a good move to get across the baseline, but left it too soft. Here's Stolke the other way. They rotate it out left side to Martin for three. Bang, got it. Three-pointer right away for Iowa. That's what they do. Kate and Martin with the three, and the Gamecocks trail here early as Martin hits her 51st three-pointer of the year. Gamecocks rotated a little late to get her, and she knocked it down. Raven Johnson drives in the lane. Her shot comes up short, and again, Iowa with the rebound. Gamecocks 0 for 2 here to start. Here comes Caitlin Clark the other way. Finds Stolke underneath. She misses the short layup. Gamecocks get the rebound. Still 3-0 Iowa here. Here comes Raven across the timeline. Gamecocks need a good set here. Have come up empty on their first two possessions. Here's Pow Pow. Pulls up from the free throw line off the dribble. Back rims it no good. One shot and out again. The Gamecocks have yet to get an offensive rebound. Got to do a better job. Minute gone by. It's 3-0 Iowa. In the far side, a falter. Guarded by Pow Pow in the man-to-man. -man. Trying to drive. Up top it comes to Kate Martin. Dribbling left past Chloe Kitts. Pull up jumper from the baseline. Goes in. And the Gamecocks trail 5-0. Martin with all five of the points for the Hawkeyes. Slow start for South Carolina. 0 for 3 from the floor. And it's been one shot now at each strip. Here's Raven dribbling right. Need a bucket here. Down low Camilla. Working in against Stolke. Knifing into her left. Puts it up. Missed it from point blank range. And the Hawkeyes get the rebound. My goodness. Got to finish that one. Here come the Hawkeyes the other way in transition. They'll get a layup. Sydney Falter lays it in. And the Gamecocks trail 7-0. My goodness, 0 for 4 for the Gamecocks from the floor, including a bunny layup from Camilla Cardoso. It was contested, but she had the height advantage and couldn't knock it down. Two minutes gone by, couldn't start much worse for South Carolina. Here's Raven Johnson right side as the crowd gets into it. Back inside to Camilla, knifing through a double team. All kinds of contact, no foul called. And Iowa gets the rebound, goodness. Cardoso got knocked to the floor. Here's Caitlin Clark the other way. Jumper's no good. Knocked out of bounds off the Gamecocks, they say. It'll remain with Iowa. Goodness. Camilla Cardoso got knocked backwards in the paint. No foul call. 7.37 to play in the opening quarter. Iowa leads it 7-0 here. Gamecocks 0 for 5 from the floor. Here come the Hawkeyes. Right side is the falter. Drives down to the baseline, cut off by Pow Pow, 13 to shoot it. Oh, that's got to be an offensive foul. Clark shoves Breezy, and there's a three-pointer that's good. They will not call an offensive foul on Iowa. Breezy Hall got a forearm shiver, knocked to the ground, and it's 10-0 Iowa. How do you not call that? Complete garbage. Here's the Gamecocks the other way. Layup won't go, but Cardoso with the rebound. She will lay it up and in, and the Gamecocks finally on the board. It's 10-2 with 7.07 to play. Another three. Oh, and they're going to call a foul on a garbage foul on the other side, of course, because Caitlin Clark shot it. And that'll put them at the line for three. That is some hot garbage down on the floor. And three free throws upcoming here. Breezy Hall gets shoved to the ground on the last possession. No foul called. Well... It's going to be eight on five, it looks like, so far today. Here's Clark at the free throw line. 86% foul shooter. Hits the first one to make it 11 to two. My goodness. I don't know how they didn't Clark for an offensive foul in the last possession. They're showing the replay of it now. A two-handed shove of Breezy Hall, and they let it go. Complete garbage. Clark hits all three free throws, and the Gamecocks in a big hole here early, 13 to two. Off the foul. Here come the Gamecocks in need of a bucket here. This one getting away early. Raven Johnson works it right side to Pow Pow. She wants three. Bang, got it. Three-pointer for Tahina Pow Pow. And the Gamecocks trim the deficit to single digits. 13 to five as Pow Pow hits her 85th of the year. Here's Caitlin Clark driving in the lane. And gets the layup in traffic. And the Gamecocks trail by 10 again. 
15 to five. There's Breezy Hall left wing, working around a screen. Cut off at the free throw line. Back to Chloe Kitts, lobs it down low to Camilla. Fumbles, recovers, and puts it in for two. Got to get Camilla going, it's 15 to seven. Camilla with her second bucket. Now the Gamecocks need to stop. Long three, good by, guess who? Caitlin Clark from NBA range, and it's 18 to seven. Caitlin Clark already in double figures with 11 points. She's hit her second three-pointer, and it's 18 to seven. Back-to-back buckets. Well, actually, she had the three free throws the last trip. Six minutes to play in the first quarter. Gamecocks down 11 here. Driving in the lane, pow, pow. The runner won't go. Camilla with the stick back. It won't go. Rebound to Chloe Kitch. She will lay it up and in, and the Gamecocks doing some board work on that trip to cut it to nine. It's 18 to nine as Kitts gets her first points. Here comes Iowa the other way. Clark up top, working on Kitts. Not sure if that's the matchup we wanted. Kitts knocks the ball away, however. Gabby Marshall able to pick it up for the Hawkeyes. And then Caitlin Clark is fouled again on a three-pointer. Second time the Gamecocks have fouled her from three-point range. And she'll go to the line three more times. And these are almost automatic for her. 86% free throw shooter. And she'll get three more here. Kitts somehow got matched up with her. And fouled her behind the arc. Second time we've fouled her behind the arc. Coach Staley in one of the officials' ears as she hits the first one. Looked like she got all ball on the replay, but it's Caitlin Clark, so you're not going to get the call. She hits the second one. And here comes the third one. 5.34 to play. Iowa with a quick start here as Clark hits all three free throws. Or does she? No, the second one rolled out. And the Gamecocks get the rebound at 20 to nine. Gamecocks trail here, approaching the midpoint of the first quarter. Here's Breezy Hall, top of the circle, needs some help. Passes left to Chloe Kitts, shy the free throw line. She'll take the 15 footer, back rimmed it no good. Clark with the rebound. Gamecocks have to do a better job of rebounding. May have to get Watkins in there to get us some more help on the board. Right now it's not happening. Here's Clark up top, bounce pass in the lane to Kate Martin, she'll miss the layup. Fight for the rebound, and that's got to be. Finally, they call the foul on Iowa, and it'll be Carolina ball when we come back. Well, not not the media timeout yet. 5.04 to play. It's 20-9, Gamecocks trail, as we'll get Ashlyn Watkins into the game. Chloe Kitts out. Watkins, the fresh, the sophomore from Columbia. Also checking in is Tessa Johnson, the freshman from Albertville, Minnesota. Sonia Fagan also in. She'll pick up Cardoso. So it's Raven Johnson, Tessa Johnson. Tina Pow Pow, Sanaya Fagan, and Ashlyn Watkins on the floor. Gamecocks trailing 20 to 9. We're midway through the first quarter. Not a pace the Gamecocks want to keep up, giving up 20 points in five minutes. Iowa is at six out of nine shots and five out of six free throws. Watkins dishes it out. Here's Tessa Johnson, right wing three. Back rimmed it no good. Watkins with the offensive rebound, and there's a foul on Iowa. Finally, some whistles. And that'll send us to a timeout with 4.45 to play in the first. All Iowa here, 20 to 9. Timeout on the floor, and we'll step aside. South Carolina postseason basketball is presented by Optus Bank, and you're listening to Carolina Basketball from Learfield. She can do what she wants. But here we go. 4.45 to play. Gamecocks need a rally here. they got to get some stops. Trailing by 11 here in the early going. Obviously giving up 20 points in uh, five minutes isn't the recipe for success here. Packed house here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Iowa. 18,000 strong. Gamecocks got to figure out a way to slow down this Iowa offense and Get their offense in gear. Not a good combination when they've hit six out of nine and you're four out of 14. On the floor for the Gamecocks, Malaysia Fulwiley has checked in during the timeout. The freshman from Columbia earned SEC All-Freshman Team honors. She joins Tessa Johnson, Ashlyn Watkins, Sanaya Fagan, and Raven Johnson. Carolina Ball as play resumes. We'll bring it in baseline left side. Raven Johnson to do the honors. Got to hurry to avoid the five. Gets it up top to Full Wiley and we're underway. Here's Tessa Johnson, left wing, 2 3 zone by Iowa. Right side to Full Wiley. Puts it on the floor, drives in the lane, dumps it down to Fagan, and Fagan will finish. Good ball movement there. And the Gamecocks lead or trail 20 to 11 as Fagan 
gets her first points. 4.25 to play in the opening quarter. Here's Caitlin Clark up top. Driving the lane left side. Cut off at the foul line. Pull up jumper. Missed it short. Rebound to Ashlyn Watkins. Gamecocks have it. Quickly down the floor. Here's Tessa Johnson. Stop and go dribble. Cut off shy of the lane. Up top to Watkins now. Back to Raven. We'll settle into the half court. Gamecocks down nine with 4.05 to play in the first quarter. Full Wiley drives in the lane. Spin shoots. Doesn't score. Fagan with the rebound, but she's too far into the basket. Feeds it underneath the Full Wiley. She'll drive, shoot, and score. Full Wiley with the bucket, and it's 20 to 13. The Gamecocks within seven. Need another stop here. 3.50 to play. Marshall kicks it out left baseline. Jumper by Martin, no good. And another foul on the Gamecocks on Ashlyn Watkins. Her first and the team's third, and that'll send the Hawkeyes to the free throw line again as Kate Martin will go to the line for the first time. Not one you want to put at the stripe. 87% foul shooter for the graduate student from Edwardsville, Illinois. Averaging 13 points a game. Hits the first free throw. Watkins settled with her first foul. And she hits them both. And the lead extends out again to nine at 22 to 13. We'll get Cardoso back in. She'll pick up Watkins. 3.46 to play in the quarter. Gamecocks down nine here after a 10-0 start by Iowa. Here's Raven Johnson across the timeline. Up top to Full Wiley. Around the screen to her left. Drives into the lane. It opens four. Two more for Lay. And it's 22 to 15. Back-to-back buckets for Malaysia Full Wiley. Here come the Hawkeyes the other way. A falter left side. Now driving in the lane is Martin. Kicking out on the baseline. Driving is Stolke. She'll kick it back out to Marshall. Marshall inside to Stolke. Back to the basket, working on Cardoso. Shot clock at 13. She'll kick it out in the far corner. Three-pointer for Martin off the rim, no good. Rebound Raven, and the Gamecocks have it. 3.05 to play in the quarter. Lob it inside to Camilla. Back up top, Raven will settle into the half court. Gamecocks trailing by seven here. Raven dribbling to her right. Back up top, Tessa Johnson. Johnson around the screen. Pull-up jumper from 12 feet. In and out, no good. Rebound to Camilla, and she was fouled underneath. The Gamecocks will have it, non-shooting. Third team foul on the Hawkeyes as they'll check in Kylie Fierbeck, a six-foot redshirt junior from Sycamore, Illinois. Carolina ball will bring it in baseline right side. Stolke picked up the foul for Iowa. It was her first. Raven Johnson to trigger it in. Goes up top to Tessa. Cole Wiley calling it, but we go underneath to Camilla. Has her shot blocked by Stolke. And they say it goes off Camilla and out of bounds. So Stolke with the block. Camilla's got five inches on her. Not sure how she got that block. And they say it went off Camilla. Gamecocks trail by seven. Caitlin Clark with the basketball for Iowa. Across the Final Four logo, dribbling to her right. Guarded by Raven. Trying to go baseline. Spins into the paint. Bounce pass taken away by Tessa Johnson. Gamecocks have it on the turnover. Down seven here. Here's Tessa Johnson, left wing. Tessa up top to Raven as we'll settle into the half court. Raven pulling everyone out as she signals the play. Up top to Camilla. Camilla passes right, full Wiley, deep three right side. Bang, got it. Three-pointer for Lay. And the Gamecocks within four at 22 to 18. Full Wiley with the big three-pointer. Gives her seven points, seven straight points for her. 47th three-pointer of the year. Hawkeyes with the basketball, but not for long. It was knocked away and stolen, but then the Hawkeyes got it right back. Full Wiley knocked it loose, couldn't corral it. And the Hawkeyes have it again. They reset the shot clock. Work it left side to Gabby Marshall, trying to drive. Back up top, it comes sheer back, drives into the lane, left side. Shot blocked by Camilla, and Camilla with the rebound. Big block by the big girl. Here come the Gamecocks in transition. Tessa Johnson tries to go up, has the ball stripped out of her hands. No foul call, but it'll remain with the Gamecocks as it trickles out of bounds. We'll get Tahina Pow Pow back into the contest. Gamecocks down four, 22 to 18 with 133 to play in the opening quarter. Raven will look to trigger it in, baseline right side. They'll get a sub in. Addie O'Grady checks in, the big 6'4 junior from Aurora, Colorado. She'll pick up Stolke. Gamecocks will get Breezy Hall back into the contest as well. Breezy will pick up Raven. And so now Pow Pow will move over to trigger the ball into play. So it's Pow Pow 
Tessa Johnson, Cardoso, Fagan, and Breezy on the floor. Palpow triggers it into Tessa. Tessa on the dribble drive into the paint. Fadeaway jumper, good. Tessa Johnson off the dribble. And the Gamecocks within two at 22 to 20. Needed that. 122 to play in the first quarter. Here come the Hawkeyes. Left side, right side rather. Caitlin Clark drives, shoots, and scores off the dribble drive. Gamecocks couldn't stop the penetration. 15 points for Caitlin Clark. And then a steal in the backcourt by Marshall. Just took it away. Couldn't afford that. Gamecocks down four. Feed it down low to O'Grady. Into the lane it comes to a falter. Back up top, Caitlin Clark for three. No good off the back rim. Rebound Cardoso, and the Gamecocks have it. Trailing by four again with 50 seconds to play in the quarter. 24 to 20, our score. Need a bucket here. Up top it comes Tessa Johnson. Working right side to Breezy. Breezy gets a screen from Fagan. Comes around it the other way instead. Had the ball knocked out of her hands. And another turnover by the Gamecocks. Two straight turnovers. Gives it back to Iowa. 30 seconds to play in the quarter. Clark delivers in the corner. And they're going to get the Gamecocks for another foul. If Caitlin Clark's touching the ball and you bat her with an eyelash, it's a foul. And that'll be the fourth team foul. They put that on Breezy Hall. That's two on Breezy. She'll have to come out. My goodness. Well, you knew that's the way it was going to be. So Iowa will bring it in to the left of the basket on the baseline. Up top it comes to Kate Martin to Clark. Feeds it out in the far corner to Marshall. Back to Clark right side. Camilla comes out on her. She'll bomb a three anyway and bury it over the 6'7". Camilla Cardoso. And it's 27 to 20. 18 points in the first quarter for uh, Caitlin Clark. Eight seconds to play. Gamecocks down seven here in the opening quarter. Here's Tessa up top for three. No good. Rebound to the Hawkeyes, and that's how the first quarter will end. Seven-point lead for the Hawkeyes. After one quarter, they opened the game on a 10-0 run. Gamecocks got it down to two, but then the Hawkeyes scored five straight points off a couple of turnovers. Their lead is seven after 10 minutes of play. We'll take a timeout, come back at the start of the second quarter in just a moment. to pick it up a little bit just nine out of 23 from the floor for 39 percent two out of four from three point range Gamecocks with the edge rebounding right now 13 to nine led by Malaysia Fulwiley with seven points he's called scored all seven points on three consecutive possessions but the Gamecocks have to find a way to get something going inside Camilla Cardoso four points but on just two of six shooting Gamecocks guilty of a few turnovers late they had two turnovers back to back at the end of the first quarter after the game, after they had cut the deficit down to two at 21 to 20, they turned it over two straight times, and that led directly to the last five points for Iowa. You got to take care of the basketball here against an Iowa. On the floor to start the second quarter, it'll be Camilla Cardoso, Tahina Palpal, Raven Johnson, Tessa Johnson, and Sanaya Fagan. It couldn't have been a better start for Iowa, scoring 10 straight points while the Gamecocks went cold and. Again, don't like to belabor a point, but I think a tone setter for the game that can be kind of deflating, that you just got to find a way to overcome, was early in that 10-0 run, the two-handed shove by Clark on Breezy Hall that freed herself for a three-point shot, and she knocked it down, and there was no whistle. And it happened right in front of the Carolina bench. And you know, <laughs> the coaching staff, all they can do is put their arms up and say, really? So see if the Gamecocks can rally here. They cut it down to two, but now it's back up to seven. Gamecocks in the white uniforms with the garnet and gold trim. And the Hawkeyes in the road black with gold numbers. It'll be Iowa basketball to start the second quarter, moving left to right as we see them. It's kind of opposite of your TV view if you're watching. We're on the other side of the court in the second level, the front of the second level. So Iowa moving left to right as the Gamecocks match up. And we're underway in quarter number two here in the national championship. Caitlin Clark up top, guarded by Raven. Almost forgot to take the ball with her. Comes around a screen to her right. Puts an awkward shot up, no good. Rebound to Raven. Wasn't sure if that was a pass or what happened there, but the Gamecocks have it. Just underway, second quarter. Here's Tessa Johnson, left wing. Goes inside to Camilla. Camilla back up top to Fagan. Fagan will take a 16-footer. Back rimmed it, no good. Wide open, couldn't knock it down. 
But then Raven Johnson with a steal after Caitlin Clark got the rebound. Now Raven's going to be knocked to the floor. Held ball will be called. Possession will go to South Carolina. Well, that's, that's a good shot for Fagan. Straight away from 15 feet, you'll take it. But she couldn't knock it down. Fortunately, South Carolina has it on the alternating possession arrow here. Just underway in the second quarter. Gamecocks down seven. Raven Johnson will bring it across the timeline, moving right to left. Iowa matches up in the man-to-man. Raven dribbling right, passing right to Fagan. Now to Camilla on the baseline. Back out to Pow Pow. Couldn't pull the trigger on the three. She'll put it on the floor. Stop and go. Gets it back to Tessa. Tessa drives to the baseline. Pull-up jumper. Good. Tessa Johnson. Smooth stroke off the dribble. And that'll start the scoring in the second quarter. 27-22. Gamecocks trail by five. 9.04 to play in the second quarter. Here's Caitlin Clark. Backdoor cut. They feed it inside. Ball knocked loose. Camilla Cardoso comes out of there with it on the turnover. In transition, here's Tessa. Tessa drives, shoots, scores again. Back-to-back buckets for Tessa Johnson and the Gamecocks. Get it within three at 27-24. Here come the Hawkeyes. 8.42 to play in the second quarter. They feed Caitlin Clark, cutting in the lane. Feed it underneath the basket. Shot blocked by Camilla. And Tessa Johnson comes out of there with it. Camilla with a big right hand in there to knock the ball free on the block. Gamecocks have it, down three with eight and a half minutes to play in the second. Inside to Camilla, back out to Raven near corner, back into Camilla, trying to back her way in. Spin, shoot, scores, counted, and a foul. Chance for a three-point play. Camilla Cardoso with the bucket to make it 27-26. She can tie it with a made free throw here. Six points for Camilla. Night 8-21 to play here in the second quarter. Full Wiley will check in for the Gamecocks. She'll pick up Pow Pow. Foul is on O'Grady, their big 6'4 junior, her first. And Camilla at the stripe. Follow-up free throw. Good, and we're all tied at 27. The Gamecocks erase a 10-point deficit here in the first half. 8.21 to play. That gets the Garnet and Black faithful into it. Iowa with the basketball, tied at 27. Caitlin Clark across the Final Four logo, dribbling to her right against Raven, into the lane, floats it up, blocked by Raven. Clark gets the rebound, feeds it out for three, left side, got it. Oh, that is so deflating. Sydney a falter, just camped out there in the left, or left arc, and she buries the three, and Iowa reclaims the lead, 30-27. to 27. A falter with her 24th of the year. Here's Camilla in the paint, puts it up. This time it won't go, but she's fouled and will go to the line. Going to put that foul on Kate Martin. Her first, second team foul. O'Grady out for the Hawkeyes. Stolke back in. They're starting four. And it'll be Camilla at the line again. Gamecocks down three with 7.52 to play in the second quarter. And Camilla missed the first one, back rimmed it. So the best she can do is get the Gamecocks within two. One out of two from the line tonight. Second free throw, missed them both, but there's Fagan with the rebound, stick back is good. Sanaya Fagan with her back to the basket somehow got it to go, and the Gamecocks within one at 30 to 29. 7.40 to play in the second quarter. And a whistle away from the ball, and a foul on Malaysia Fullwiley as she got her feet tangled up with someone trying to cut across the lane. First foul on the Gamecocks. And the first on Lay. Lay thought... It was incidental, but officials didn't see it that way. So Caitlin Clark will bring it in baseline right side for the Hawkeyes. Raven Johnson in front of her. Clark looking, finally gets it into Martin. Martin will drive the baseline. Bounce pass to Stolke underneath. Stolke kicks it back out. Driving into the lane is a falter. They get it underneath to Stolke, and she'll lay it up and in. Good ball movement there by the Hawkeyes, and it's back to a three-point lead. Gamecocks trail 32-29, 7.25 to play in the second quarter. Just quite can't get over the hump here. Here's Tessa Johnson driving across the baseline, feeds it out in the far corner. Full Wiley wants three, no good. Rebound tipped out to Full Wiley. She drives, shoots, doesn't score, but there's Cardoso, and she will lay it up and in. Camilla Cardoso knifing her way in, and the Gamecocks within one, and 32-31. Got three offensive boards that trip. Seven minutes to play in the half. The Gamecocks down one here after trailing by 10. Here come the Hawkeyes. Driving right side is a falter. Cut off, gets it back to Gabby Marshall. 
Feeds it right side to a falter on the wing. Now Caitlin Clark trying to drive. 13 on the shot clock as Raven comes out on her. Around a screen from Stolke. Raven staying with her. Oh, and they're going to get Raven Johnson with the touch foul with nine on the shot clock to bail out the Hawkeyes again. That is unbelievable. <laughs> you can't even bat an eyelash when Caitlin Clark has the basketball. That is some booze from the Gamecock fans, and I don't blame them. Here's Clark, feeds it underneath to Stolke, and she will lay it up and in. Some good ball movement again. Back to a three-point lead. Back-to-back buckets for Stolke. And the Hawkeyes makes it 34-31. It's really laughable that the treatment that they give. Here's Raven, left wing. Gets it down to Camilla. Camilla fighting off a double team. Back out to Raven in the corner for three. Rolls off the rim, no good. Clark with the rebound, and the Hawkeyes have it in transition. Driving into the lane. Shot blocked by Tessa Johnson. Blocked the shot of a falter, and the Gamecocks come out of there with it. Here's Fulwiley, drives into the lane, blocked by Stolke, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Carolina ball. The block's on both ends there. We'll get Ashlyn Watkins back into the contest. The 6.04 to play in the second. Gamecocks have never led. It's been tied once after a 10-0 start by Iowa. Raven will bring it in, baseline left side, with the Gamecocks down three. Delivers up top to Camilla. Work it right side to Tessa. Tessa Johnson for three. Bang! Got it. Three-pointer Tessa Johnson. And we're tied at 34. Tessa Johnson with the big three. Gives her nine points here in the first half. 545 and counting. In the second quarter. Here's Caitlin Clark left side. Started by Tessa. Stabbing at the basketball. Tough matchup for the freshman. And they're going to get Tessa for the hand check foul. Yeah. They let him play physical at times, but Gamecock bench not happy. And I don't blame them. It is, uh, they're letting a lot of stuff go, but not if a certain individual has the basketball. Here's Clark in the corner for three. Rolls off the rim, no good. Rebound to the Gamecocks. Quickly down the floor, Full Wiley. Full Wiley drives into the lane. Drives, shoots, and not going to count it. They're going to call the travel. Would have been the first lead for the Gamecocks, but Full Wiley couldn't keep her feet. The turnover gives it back to Iowa. We're still tied at 34. Five and a half minutes to play in the second quarter. Across the timeline with it, Kate Martin delivers right side to Gabby Marshall. Guarded by Full Wiley. Back up top, it comes to a falter. Shot clock halfway down, near side. Martin, wide open look for three, but missed it. Knocked out of bounds off the Hawkeyes. It'll be Carolina ball. 5-13 to play. Gamecocks and Hawkeyes tied at 34 here in the national championship. Raven Johnson will bring it up. Gets it across the Final Four logo. Picked up by Caitlin Clark in the man-to-man. Comes off a screen to her right. Can't do much with it. We're midway through the second. Here's Watkins at the free throw line. Goes underneath to Camilla. Camilla will lay it up and in, and the Gamecocks have their first lead at 36-34 with 4.52 to play in the second quarter. Gamecocks erase a 10-point deficit. Driving in the lane is a falter. Shot blocked by Full Wiley. Rebound to Raven. Here come the Gamecocks in transition. Behind the back is Full Wiley. Missed the layup. And Hawkeyes get the rebound. Oh, that would have been a crowd pleaser, but she couldn't finish. Here comes Caitlin Clark the other way. Watkins has to pick her up as she drives into the lane. Oh, got away with a walk. Missed the layup. Hawkeyes get the rebound as it caroms out. Here's Gabby Marshall left side. Shot clock at 15. Feeds it to Stolke near the corner. Watkins on the defense. Shot clock down to 10. Stolke hands it off left side to a falter. A falter around a screen. On the back door, cut. Shot up and in. She's fouled. Count the basket. Chance for a three-point play as Ashlyn Watkins picks up her second foul. That'll send us to a timeout. We're tied at 36. Hawkeyes will be at the line when we come back. 4-11 to play in the second quarter here in the national championship. We're tied at 36. to play here in the second quarter in Cleveland for the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball National Championship between South Carolina and Iowa. We're all tied at 36, but the Hawkeyes will be at the free throw line when play resumes after the foul on Ashlyn Watkins on the hoop and the harm. And that'll 
Give the chance to the Hawkeyes to reclaim the lead after the Aim Gamecocks took their first lead a few moments ago on a bucket from Camilla Cardoso. After Iowa opened the game on a 10-0 run, the Gamecocks rallied to come off the deck. In fact, the Gamecocks trailed by as many as 11 in the first half. And at the free throw line will be Hannah Stolke. Stolke with six points, her first visit to the line. Second team all Big Ten selection for the 6-2 sophomore. Averaging four, better than 14 points per game. Follow-up free throw is good, and that puts Iowa back on top, 37-36. Gamecock with the basketball moving right to left. Looks like a 2-3 zone for Iowa this trip. Raven Johnson feeds it down low, kicks it back out to full wide near corner three, off the front rim, no good. Rebound Chloe Kitts. Kitts spins in the paint, puts it up, no good, but she's fouled and will go to the line. Now you got to make the free throws. Put the foul on Sydney of Falter. Falter collects her second. Third team foul on the Hawkeyes. And Kitts, who's been quiet here tonight, has two points. We'll try to hit a couple of free throws here. Only a 69% foul shooter for the sophomore. First free throw, good, and that ties it at 37. 3.52 to play here in the second quarter. One more time for Kitts. And rolls off the rim, no good. And they're going to get Camilla for a foul. Camilla reached around and will pick up her first foul. And unfortunately, that's the 15th foul on South Carolina. And that'll put the Hawkeyes in the bonus for the rest of the half. And you got to pick and choose your spots with this crew on the floor. As... Uh, a little letting some things go on one end, but not on the other. And it'll be Stonky at the line again. Stonky hit one a moment ago. She's got seven points. She's played very well in the NCAA tournament. Had 23 points against UConn the other night to lead the Hawkeyes in their win. Hits the first one, and that puts Iowa back on top, 38-37. And second one also good as well. Only a 62% foul shooter, but she hits them both here. 3.45 to play in the half. Gamecocks down two. Trailed by as many as 11 before reclaiming the lead momentarily. Feed it underneath to Camilla. Spins, shoots, missed the runner. And Iowa with the rebound. Goodness, that is one Camilla has to finish. Underneath the basket. Two-point lead for Iowa, and they've got the basketball after Camilla missed from point-blank range. Big miss there. Here's Caitlin Clark. Right side, guarded by Raven. Picks up the dribble, feeds it inside to Martin. Oh, Martin... Did she double dribble? And she put it up and in anyway, and it's 41-37. Back to a four-point lead for Iowa. Thought she may have double dribbled there. Maybe the second hand didn't get on it. 3-10 to play in the half. Gamecox down fourth. See if they can get a bucket here to make it a one-possession game. Feed it inside to Kitts. Fumbles but recovers. Feeds it inside and threw it away, and then a foul on Tessa Johnson. you got to be kidding me. Gamecocks getting sloppy with the basketball, not finishing, and now Iowa will go to the line for two more, and it is getting very one-sided out there with how things are being called. So Tessa Johnson will pick up the foul. And two more free throws upcoming here for the Hawkeyes. Hawkeyes, this will be their 12th and 13th free throws. Gamecocks have only shot it five times here in the first half. Well, uh, are they going to take the foul off the board? Okay, no. <laughs> they took the foul off. So this, well, they're going to call it an offensive foul on Tessa. She never, okay, whatever. <laughs> she never had possession, but we'll take it. Cause here's Stolke the other way. She misses the layup, rebound kit, so it worked out for the Gamecocks. Trailing by four with 2.44 to play in the third. I don't know how you called an offensive foul on that one. And she never had possession of the basketball, but we'll take it. Here's Chloe Kitts right side. Down low to Fagan on the baseline. Back out, Pow Pow. Pow Pow couldn't pull the trigger. Out left side to Full Wiley. Near corner, Raven for three. Off the front rim, no good. And the rebound caroms out to Iowa. And the Gamecocks have gone cold here. Down four. Feed it inside to Stolke. Stolke swatted away by Fagan. Fagan knocked it out of her hands and got the rebound. Here's Full Wiley the other way. Drives into the lane. Kick it out to Pow Pow. Left wing three. Bang! Got it. And the Gamecocks within one. 44 to 40 as Tahina Pow Pow hits her second three. Needed that one. Two minutes to play in the second quarter. Here's Caitlin Clark right side. Around a screen to her left. Steps back into a deep three and buries it. 
Her first points of the second quarter makes it 44 to 40. With 1.48 to play in the second quarter. She had 18 in the first quarter. She's got 21 now. Those were her first points. Beat it to Kitts at the free throw line. Underneath to Fagan. Fagan tries to go up, lays it in for two, and the Gamecocks within a bucket. Good entry pass there from Kitts, and the Gamecocks within two at 44-42 after trailing by 11. A steal here by Raven Johnson. Feeds Kitts. Kitts will drive, shoot, score. Chloe Kitts in transition will tie at 44. 120 to play in the first half, and we're tied at 44. Here come the Hawkeyes. Near side it comes to Fierbeck. Now Caitlin Clark on the right wing. Working on Raven. Has it on the floor. Drives the baseline. It opens up for Gets her man in the air. Shot blocked by Raven. It's going to be a held ball. Possession will stay with Iowa. Great play there by Raven. Blocked Caitlin Clark from behind. Just under a minute to play. It'll remain with Iowa with 11 seconds on the shot clock. And a timeout will be taken here. And we'll send it away as well. 59.9 seconds to play in the first half. We're tied at 44 here in the national championship between South Carolina and Iowa. We'll step aside and be back in just a moment. South Carolina postseason basketball is presented by Optus Bank, and you're listening to Carolina Basketball from Learfield. Women's Basketball National Championship. South Carolina and Iowa all tied at 44. The Hawkeyes opened the game on a 10-0 run, led by as many as 11 points. Gamecocks have rallied to take the lead uh, once. It's been tied a couple of times as it is here. Caitlin Clark leading the Hawkeyes with 21 points. She scored 20 or more points in every game this year. Gamecocks led by Camilla Cardoso, who has 11 points, but she's on the uh, bench with two fouls. Tessa Johnson has nine. Seven points for Malaysia Fulwiley, six apiece for Pow Pow and Fagan. Elsewhere for Iowa, Kate Martin has nine. Hannah Stolke has nine as well. Hawkeyes shooting 44% from the floor, 14 out of 32. They've hit a ton of free throws, though, 10 out of 11. Gamecocks 19 out of 42 for 45% have not gotten opportunities at the line, just two out of five. So Iowa ball with 11 seconds on the shot clock. They'll bring it in baseline right side. It'll be Caitlin Clark to trigger it in. Gamecocks on the floor. Raven Johnson, Malaysia Fulwiley, Tahina Pow Pow, Sanaya Fagan, and Chloe Kitts. Raven will guard the inbound pass as Clark looks to get it in. Gets it in right side. Gets it back to Caitlin Clark. Clark feeds it inside to Stulke. Backdoor pass, shot up and in to break the tie by Kate Martin. Some good ball movement there. And the Hawkeyes reclaim the lead at 46-44 with 46 seconds to play in the half. Gamecocks need a good possession here. Here's Pow Pow playing traffic cop. Looks like a 2-3 zone. Work it right side to Full Wiley. Shot clock halfway down. Full Wiley one-on-one with Clark. Splits a couple of defenders. Feeds it to Fagan underneath. She missed the layup. And rebound caroms out to Chloe Kitts. Kitts will trigger it back out to Full Wiley. Here's Pow Pow right wing, three ball, bang! And the Gamecocks lead, 47-46. Pow Pow with her third three-pointer of the half, and the Gamecocks have the lead for the moment at 47-46. Hawkeyes can work for the final shot to take the lead into the locker room. But Raven Johnson steals it from Caitlin Clark. She will drive the length of the floor and lay it up and in. And the Gamecocks lead, 49-46. Here's Stokey across midcourt to Caitlin Clark. Feeds it out left side. They're not going to get a shot off. The Gamecocks rally from an 11-point deficit and will take a three-point lead into the locker room here in the national championship. Overcoming some adversity early in that one, Iowa opened the game on a 10-0 run, led by as many as 11, but the Gamecocks come storming back, and they're in this thing. They've got a three-point lead as the two teams head to the locker room at halftime. Well, 20 minutes in the books, 20 minutes to decide the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball National Champion. Well, Sonia, the story of this ball game has been offensive rebounding, whether it's you, Camilla. How has this team really owned the glass? Um, we're just trying to get clean up every board that they, uh, that they take, that our shots take, because our shots not falling right now. But we're just trying to clean up every board that, that's not going in. You're such a great leader for this team. You actually asked where you could move your seat on the bench so you could help lead the freshmen. What have you thought about them coming in and being so in control? I just love the fact that they're taking advantage of every opportunity they're giving. They're attacking, they're scoring, and they're doing exactly what they need to do. Thank you, Sanaya. Thank you. Well, South Carolina takes a three-point lead 
into the half. After the break, Ellen Company will be back for the Dove Halftime Report. That's coming up after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Welcome to the Dove Halftime Report. As our guy Ryan Rucco said, Caitlin Clark from the future. 18 points in the first quarter, the most in any quarter in championship game history. And you can imagine Carver Hawkeye Arena watch party went bananas. But they say it is a game of runs, and Iowa starts out the game. South Carolina looked thunderstruck. A 14-point swing as it is the Gamecocks that now have the lead. We welcome you in here from courtside. Woo! L. Duncan alongside Andrea Carter, Janae Gumake, Carolyn Peck, and our resident Gamecock, Aaliyah Boston. <laughs> How you holding up, sis? Doing a lot better when I was started. <laughs> you just felt the energy. I mean, Iowa came out. They were hot, attacking the paint, knocking down the three. Then you felt South Carolina, they kind of settled in, and they just played their game. They slowed down a little bit. You have Raven. I think she's doing a fantastic job on Caitlin, especially the second quarter but pow pow cannot go unnoticed three for three from behind the arc i mean she's just shooting at keeping them in the in the game i think the most important thing to notice the difference between the first quarter and second quarter it was the iowa's pace and caitlin clark she had a record to break and she said let me go ahead and check that off and get that out of the way and Okay, look at how she is able to get open. More times than not, the officials aren't watching until after she gets the ball, but she does her work early. And there were a lot of different people that had to guard her. But Raven Johnson locked her down in the second in, that, in the second quarter. Yep, South Carolina is coached by Dawn Staley, and the D stands for defense. They are the number one defensive team in the nation, and they have the SEC Defensive Player of the Year and Camilla Cardoso. You saw her get the block, but then they had to go up against Iowa zone. What do they do? How do they respond? On. She got the ball, was patient, reposted again, and my favorite words in basketball, and one, son, and 11 and points, one. seven rebounds. Really quick, you talked about Raven uh, and Caitlin Clark making history, but when she's being guarded by Raven, she's just one for five. She's doing an incredible job keeping up with the most prolific score we've ever seen. But, Drea, when you think about the first half, what's the most glaring thing to you? Kate Martin's been a bucket. Iowa's <laughs> defense has been stifling at times, and the most glaring thing to me in this game is South Carolina as freshmen mm -hmm. were the one to break the ice. They were the one to come out with a storm and play with confidence. When you talk about Malaysia Paul Wiley and Tessa Johnson, Malaysia has nine points, or Tessa has nine points. Malaysia has seven points. Malaysia's making the right decisions. What impressed me was in the beginning of the game, she starts to get into the paint and she's getting tied up. So then what happens? She gets to the paint, she makes an adjustment, starts kicking out and finding her teammates. The composure that those two freshmen are playing with on this stage when Iowa started out hot is ridiculous. The tempo picked up when, my, when in Full Wiley came into yeah. the game. I don't know why South Carolina was walking the ball down the floor. Full Wiley and Johnson went in and the tempo took up, uh, went up to another level. And they just look comfortable. Like yeah. Tessa's little one dribble pull up, bloop, bottom of the net, she runs back on the side. Like they look <laughs> unbothered but, out there. But since we're talking about the youth, can we have a moment for Hannah Stolke? Yes. yes. Because she's a sophomore, but last year as a freshman played in the Natty and only played three minutes. She's coming off of her best ever tournament game, 23 points. And today she's doing the work of two women in the paint going up against South Carolina. You know I say it's post player university. Of course. She's got some bounce. Like watching she does. her she's get springing. up off the ground. She did get a block against Cardoso. She, yeah. 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 she, she, got, like, she did. She had a little smirk like, oh, I surprised I just, myself I just, a little bit. Um, but we heard her coach say that she really, she got so much energy and confidence from what she was able to do on Friday. You've been in this locker room in a national championship game with Don Staley as your coach. What's she telling this team right now? I think probably just push pace. Defensively, you figured it out. You have to stop fouling. They picked up some fouls in the first quarter um, on shooting fouls that you never want to put a shooter yeah. to the line. Yep. And I honestly just continue to play your game. You felt it now. The first half is complete. There's 20 more minutes of this game and just play your game. Pay at your pace. That's, what well, would you gonna, be saying? Well, I was going to say on Iowa's side, one thing that's sort of benefiting them or one thing I think they're doing well, they're giving up a lot of offensive rebounds, but they're not fouling a lot on those offensive rebounds. So they're doing a nice job. South Carolina has only taken five free throws, so give Iowa some credit defensively. We talked about it. The old boards are tough, but at least they're not sending South Carolina to the free throw line. I was down at the half against Duke 
and they told the team, look, we got it taken away from us last year. This year, we're going to do that to them. That's the mentality mm. Iowa has to go out on okay, the court coach, with. Okay, coach. Here's, okay, <laughs> coach. Coach, coach him up, coach. Here's all I'll say. My mentality is, what a first half of basketball. Oh, yeah, a beautiful right. showcase basketball. Not and game. display. Caitlin Clark makes a little history. You said it, CP. She just wanted to get it out of the way. Another three. As we've got a lead for South Carolina and one half to go before we crown a national champion. We'll close things out on the other. The halftime report is presented by Dove. Let's keep her confident. Welcome back to the NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One. Getting ready to start the third quarter. Undefeated South Carolina, a 49-46 lead on Iowa. As we welcome you back courtside, Ryan Rucco alongside the Hall of Famer, Rebecca Lobo. Not a bad first half for everybody to enjoy. I mean, just incredible. Rebecca for Iowa, the way Caitlin Clark came out of the gates, and then for South Carolina, the way they can shoot from three this season. Caitlin Clark looked like a woman on a mission to start this basketball game. Had 18 of her 21 first half points in that first quarter. Stepping into the three point shot, insisting. And we welcome you back to Cleveland for the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball National Championship. South Carolina and Iowa, the number one and number two teams in the nation. South Carolina leading 49 to 46, looking for their third national championship. Iowa in the title game for the second straight year, looking for their first title. Hancox also trying to make history. Hancox trying to be the 10th team in the fifth program to go undefeated and win the national championship, uh, joining Texas, Tennessee, Baylor, and UConn. UConn's done it six times. Hancox looking for their third championship after winning it in 2017 and 2022. Sold out crowd here at the Rocket, Field, uh, Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, home of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Eight, more than 18,000 strong here. Iowa on the road black with the gold number. South Carolina in the homage to cocky home white uniforms, garnet and gold trim down the side. Gamecocks and Hawkeyes will switch ends as they will be moving towards their respective benches. It'll be South Carolina ball to start the third quarter, moving left to right as we see them. It's opposite your TV. As we are on the other side of the gym on the second level behind the scorer's table. And we're underway in the second half of the national championship. Raven Johnson across the timeline. She's on the floor with Pow Pow, Hall, Kitts, and Cardoso, the original starting five. Raven, left elbow jumper, missed it short. Camilla tips the rebound, but couldn't grab it. And the Hawkeyes come down with it. Missed opportunity there, one shot now. Here come the Hawkeyes on their first possession of the third quarter. Caitlin Clark between the circles to Kate Martin, guarded by Chloe Kitts and the man-to-man. -man. Back to Caitlin Clark, deep three, missed it short, rebound, Kitts. She tipped it to herself as Pow Pow went sprawling to the floor. She's all right. Each team has had it once, neither has scored. Here's Pow Pow up top. Gets it to Kitts. Kitts drives the lane left side. Bumps, but no foul. And she'll lay it up and in anyway. And the Gamecocks have their largest lead of five points at 51-46. Kitts with the bucket. Gives her seven points. Here's Caitlin Clark. Passes left to Martin. Guarded by Kitts. Up top to Gabby Marshall. Work it right side to Stolke. Cardoso laying off her. Gives it off right side to Martin. Martin around the screen. Pull up from 18. Rolls off the rim. No good. Rebound to Raven Johnson. Gamecocks have it leading by five with 8.50 to play. In the third quarter, there's Raven right wing. In the corner to Kitts on the near side. Kitts will take a 15-footer, got it! Chloe Kitts with back-to-back -back buckets and the Gamecocks lead 53-46. to Back-to-back -back buckets for the sophomore. Here's a three right side, in and out no good by Sydney Falter with the quick trigger. Gamecocks get the rebound. Gamecocks have it. On a 9-0 run here, dating back to the end of the second quarter, 8.20 to play. In the third quarter, the lead is seven. Near side, Chloe Kitts to Cardoso on the baseline. Back out right wing to Pow Pow. Pow Pow around the screen from Kitts. Pull up jumper, got it! And the Gamecocks have a double digit lead, 50, or a nine point lead I should say, 55-46. Here's Marshall left side and a timeout taken by the Hawkeyes to try to stop the bleeding. Gamecocks wanted to travel, they're not gonna get it, but Coach Lisa Bluter wanted to call a timeout. Gamecocks on a little bit of a run here to start the 
second qu- or third quarter. A 6-0 run to start the third, and the Gamecocks lead it 55-46 to with two minutes gone by. Timeout on the floor, and we'll step aside as well. South Carolina postseason basketball is presented by Optus Bank. You're listening to Carolina Basketball from Learfield. Here today, if you were, I guess, counting uh, what color everyone was wearing, I would say uh, maybe half the people in attendance wearing black and gold, a lot of garnet and black, and a smattering of folks from other schools, including UConn and NC State, and other folks who are just fans of women's basketball that come to the Final Four regardless. Gamecocks in their white uniforms, Iowa on the road black, a lot of celebrities here as well. Gamecocks, Asia Wilson, Alicia Gray, former Gamecock national champions in the house, along with Aaliyah Boston, who's doing some TV coverage today. Iowa ball as play resumes, moving right to left, and we're underway. Gamecocks in the man-to-man, Kate Martin around the screen to her right, bounce pass in the lane to Stolke, kick it back out, wide open, a falter for three, back rims at no good, Camilla with the rebound, and the Gamecocks have it. Leading by nine, here's Raven across the final four logo, settles into the half court. Dribbling to her right towards the Carolina bench. Back up top to Pow Pow. Shot clock halfway down. Left side, Breezy. Breezy steps back now. Now to Pow Pow deep on the left wing. Beat it too far. Pow Pow was looking for Camilla Cardoso, who's 6'7", but Tahina threw it about 7-7. So turnover there, first of the half. Fifth of the game, gives it back to Iowa. You hate to see that. Nine-point lead for the Gamecocks. Iowa with the basketball. Here's Kate Martin up top, guarded by Kitts in the man-to-man. Gives it up to Caitlin Clark up top. Around the screen to her right, trying to drive. Put the shot up and in. Not sure how she got that to go. And that's the first points of the second half for Clark and the Hawkeyes. Makes it 55-48, lead is cut to seven. 23 points, we feed it inside to Cardoso and she's fouled on the way up by Stolke. Second foul on Stolke, first on the Hawkeyes and now you gotta hit the free throws. Gamecocks only had five free throw attempts in that first half but they only hit two of them. And Camilla, one of the guilty parties there, was only one for three. She'll get two shots at it here. Camilla, just a 68% foul shooter. Has 11 points so far today. And missed the first one. Ugh, you hate to see that. Camilla, that's one out of four from the stripe. Everything counts. Second free throw. Missed it well short. My goodness. Two missed free throws by Camilla. Here's Stolke in transition. Had the ball ripped out of her hands by Pow Pow. And then Stolke threw it off her rear end to keep the possession alive. But goodness, Gamecocks, after six straight points to start the half, then the timeout, an empty possession, and then two missed free throws. Here come the Hawkeyes the other way. Up top, a falter. Feeds it to Caitlin Clark, cutting across the lane. Cardoso picks her up on the switch. She'll pull up for three. Missed it short. Good defensive pressure there by Cardoso on the switch. And the Gamecocks get the rebound. Lead is just seven with 6.43 to play in the third quarter. Raven Johnson running the half court. Look, it looks like a 2-3 zone here for Iowa to Kitts at the free throw line. She'll put it on the floor, drive, shoots, doesn't score. Oh, they're going to call an offensive foul. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is garbage. The, one of the Hawkeyes flopped to the ground. <laughs> oh, my. And here it goes again, folks. It's... Eight on five sometimes here tonight. Here's Caitlin Clark the other way. Up top to Kate Martin. Martin around the screen to her right. Drives against Cardoso. Now back to the top of the circle. Gives it off to Caitlin Clark. Clark feeds it in the far corner. Wide open Gabby Marshall for three and she buries it. Not sure how Gabby Marshall got that wide open, but the lead down to four at 55-41 as she hits her first three or 64th of the year. Breezy Hall drives in the lane. Stops, pops, and drops. And the Gamecocks. Extend the lead, 57-51, first points for Breezy. Gamecocks didn't rotate well over on defense on the last possession, giving up the three. Here's Caitlin Clark driving in the lane on Breezy, floats it up, no good, rebound Camilla. Clark crying about a foul that wasn't there. Gamecocks have it, lead is six with 5.40 to play. We should thank her lucky star, she didn't get called for that push off on the first half. Here's Raven up at the top of the circle. Passes left to Breezy Hall, 13 to shoot it. As they extend the zone, near side, Pow Pow puts it on the floor, kicks it back out to Raven up top for three, in and out, no good. Went halfway down and popped out. 
Here come the Hawkeyes in transition. It's Caitlin Clark dribbling right side to the corner. Feeds it inside to Stolke. Nobody picked her up, and she lays it up and in. Gamecocks just got lost defensively. For whatever reason, Camilla couldn't find Stolke and gave up a layup. The lead down to four at 57-53. We're midway through the third quarter. Here's Camilla at the free throw line. And she throws a bad pass that hits the rim. It's going to be tied up, held ball. Possession will go to Iowa. And another empty possession there for South Carolina. 57-53, the lead down to four with 4.58 to play. Timeout on the floor. We'll step aside as well. need the time out here to kind of regroup and get the momentum back. But they erased an 11-point deficit and turned it into a 9-point lead. Still a long way to go in this one, obviously. Iowa in the road black, Carolina in their home white. Tim Cox will go to their bench during that timeout. And on the floor for South Carolina, it'll be Ashlyn Watkins, Breezy Hall, Raven Johnson, Tessa Johnson, and Saniya Fagan. It'll be Iowa ball moving right to left as we see him behind the scorer's table. It's a chance to make it a one possession game here. Caitlin Clark will bring it up. See if she pulls the logo three. Raven will meet her mid court. Works it right side to a falter. A falter working on Tessa. Drives the baseline. Cut off there. Gets it back out to Caitlin Clark. Clark dribble with the left hand into the lane. Spins to her right. Lays it up and in. And the lead just like that is down to two at 57-55. 25 points for Caitlin Clark. Four and a half minutes to play in the third. Gamecocks need a bucket here after their nine-point lead has been dwindled down to two. Two-three zone by Iowa. Raven with 15 to shoot it. Passes left to Tessa. She'll put it on the floor. Cut off on the baseline. Zings it right side to Breezy for three. In and out, no good. But there's Watkins with the rebound. Stick back is good. Atkin Watch Ashlyn Watkins with her first points and a much-needed rebound. But here comes Stokey the other way. She missed the layup. And the Gamecocks get the rebound, leading by four, 59-55. Somehow Stolke beat everyone down the floor again, and a long pass there. She missed the layup, as I think her momentum carried her too far into the basket. A break for the Gamecocks. The lead is four. Here's Tessa Johnson. Left wing three. Bang! Got it. Three-pointer for the freshman. And the Gamecocks lead 62-55. Tessa Johnson with 12 points on her second three-pointer of the night. Seven-point lead for the Gamecocks with 3.45 to play in the third. Here's... Caitlin Clark, ball knocked out of her hands. They recover. Work it to Stokey. Back out wide open as Marshall right side. Missed the three. Rebound Tessa Johnson, and the Gamecocks have it. The freshman will wait for the numbers and hand it back to Raven. Gamecocks have it, leading by seven. Three and a half minutes to play in the third quarter of the national championship. Raven signals the play. Passes left to Ashlyn Watkins coming out of the paint. And Watkins just threw it right to Gabby Marshall for some reason. Not sure what she was thinking there. Gabby Marshall... For the Hawkeyes, gets it off right side to Kate Martin. Now deep three right side, Caitlin Clark. No good, rebound Tessa, and the Gamecocks have it. Got to take care of the basketball. Watkins was trying to make a pass in the last possession across the lane and <laughs> threw it right to Gabby Marshall. Under three minutes to play in the third. It's a seven-point lead for South Carolina at 62-55. Here's Raven on the right wing. 2-3 zone by Iowa. Working right side again to Raven. Looking inside for Watkins. Can't get it to her. Eight to shoot it now for Tessa. Work it left side to Breezy. She wants three from the wing. Bang! Got it. Three-pointer for Breezy Hall. Her first of the night gives her five points. Her 50th three-pointer of the year. And the Gamecocks have their first double-digit lead at 65-55. We go for the steal in the paint. It's going to be tied up. Held ball. Possession to South Carolina. Ashlyn Watkins with the sticky mitts there. They'll give it back to the Gamecocks. Some good defense. Two and a half minutes to play in the third. The Gamecocks have a double-digit lead for the first time at 65-55. to 55. Carolina on an 8-0 run here. Can they build on it? Two and a half minutes to play in the third. Raven gets it across the final floor for Logo, dribbling to her right. Setting the half-court offense here. Work at left side as they extend the zone. Up top to Fagan. Shot clock already down to 12. Here's Tessa left wing. Puts it on the floor, guarded by Caitlin Clark. Dribbling to her right, hands it off to Raven. Raven on the dribble drive into the lane. Floater is up, rolls off the rim, no good. Lost out of bounds, they say to Iowa. With 155 to play, or 159 to play in the third quarter. 
The lead is 10. It'll be Iowa basketball. Hawkeyes will have it. Martin will bring it up. Gets it across the logo. Guarded by Watkins. Passes right to Gabby Marshall. Back up top to a falter. Guarded by Tessa in the man-to-man. Work it right side to Martin. Three-pointer blocked by Ashlyn Swatkins, but she gets the rebound as Martin. Drive, shoots, doesn't score, but they're going to call Ashlyn Watkins for bodying her up. It'll be the third foul on Watkins, who thought she played good defense on that play. Swatkins got the block, her 91st of the season, making her appeal to the official, but they're obviously not going to change it. And Kate Martin will be at the free throw line, not one you want to put there, 87% free throw shooter, who's two for two today. Watkins will come out with the third foul, Cardoso back in. Hawkeyes are 10 for 11 from the free throw line tonight. Gamecocks are not, two for seven. Martin hits the first free throw. Martin with a dozen to cut the deficit down to single digits again and snap that 8-0 run. She will hit both free throws, and the lead is trimmed 65-57. Carolina ball with 140 to play in the third quarter here in the national championship. Raven Johnson across the logo, dribbling to her left. Passes it to Cardoso in the paint. Pull-up jumper. Looked like it was partially blocked. Gamecocks wanted a foul. They're not going to get it. Iowa with the rebound. Here's Kate Martin down the floor. Guarded by Fagan. Drives into the lane. Cut off. Spins. Shoots. Doesn't score. Rebound caroms out to full Wiley, and the Gamecocks have it. The lead is still eight to Tessa Johnson. Left wing. Three ball. Bang! Tessa Johnson with another three. And the freshman pushes the lead out to 11. at 68-57. Tessa Johnson with 15 points with 106 to play in the third quarter and another timeout taken by Lisa Bluter of Iowa to stop the bleeding. It's a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Tessa Johnson, the freshman off the bench, having a day. She's got 15 points, her season high is 16. She's hit three three three-pointers today, three out of five, and now leads the Gamecocks in scoring. Gamecocks with an 11 point lead after trailing by 11 points in the first half. But still a long way to go with 106 to play. We're just in the third quarter. The clock can't run fast enough. Iowa ball as play resumes after the quick timeout. Hawkeyes will have two remaining. Gamecocks have three left. Hawkeyes will trigger it in in the front court. A falter to trigger it in with Tessa Johnson in front of her. Gets it in, we're underway. Here's Kate Martin. Hands it off to Caitlin Clark. Working right side to a falter. Guarded by Tessa. Under a minute to play now in the third quarter. A falter. Guarded closely. Gamecocks tried to double team. She drives. Feeds it into the lane. Then back on the other side to a falter. And she'll get the lay. Excellent ball movement there by the Hawkeyes. Got to give them that. 68-59. Don't know how they were able to do that so well in the paint, but they did. Some crisp bounce passes. The lead down to nine with 37 seconds to play in the third quarter. There's Fagan on the right elbow, looking inside. She'll try to drive instead, almost had her pocket pick, needs some help. 12 to shoot it, kicks it back out, and they're going to get her for a lane violation. Got to make up your mind quicker. So with 28 seconds to play in the third quarter, the Hawkeyes can work for the final shot if that's their choosing. Gamecocks lead is down to nine. Caitlin Clark will bring it up. She'll be met at the timeline by Raven. Hawkeyes trying to carry some momentum into the fourth quarter. They'll let the clock tick down and work for the final shot. 13 seconds to play now. 68-59 Gamecocks. Clark guarded by Raven. Dribbling right side. Seven seconds to play. Clark around a screen. Straight away three. Won't go down. Rebound. Out of bounds. Off the Gamecocks, they say, with 0.2 seconds to play. In the third quarter, I don't think you can legally get a shot off with 0.2. But Clark will bring it in baseline left side for the Hawkeyes. Feeds it. Jumper at the buzzer. Won't count. And that is the end of the third quarter. Didn't go anyway. Three quarters in the books. Ten more minutes to decide a national champion. South Carolina leading Iowa 68-59 to as we head to the final frame here in Cleveland. We'll take a break and be back with that after this. South Carolina postseason basketball is presented by...
who are in the title game for the second straight year looking for their first ever national championship. Gamecocks hoping to make some history and become the 10th team and the fifth program to go undefeated and win the national title, but they've still got 10 more minutes to do that. Remember, Iowa rallied from a 12-point deficit in their win against UConn here on Friday. So this one, uh, 10 minutes is a long time to go, the way these two teams can put up points. Packed house, the sellout crowd here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. It's the home of the Cleveland Cavaliers, and Cleveland has done its job well here in hosting the women's Final Four. We've been here all week. Gamecocks in their home whites, Iowa in their road black. And 18,000 plus here in attendance to see it in person. Appreciate everyone joining us all season long, wherever you're listening. Thanks to our flagship station in Columbia, 107.5 The Game, and our affiliate in Charleston also. And for all the, those of you listening online. On the floor to start the fourth quarter for South Carolina, Raven Johnson, Tessa Johnson, Malaysia Fulwiley, Sanaya Fagan, Camilla Cardoso. Tessa Johnson leading the Gamecocks with 15 points off the bench tonight. Cardoso has 11 points, 10 rebounds for her 16th double-double of the year. Tahina Powpow also in double figures with 11. Caitlin Clark leading Iowa with 25. 13 for Kate Martin, 11 for Hannah Stolke. It'll be... Iowa basketball to start the fourth quarter, moving right to left as we look at them. Again, we are behind the scorer's table up on the second level, kind of opposite of what you'd see on TV. And we're underway in the final frame. Ten minutes to decide a national champion. Iowa with the basketball. They feed it to Stolke on the right baseline. Looking for a cutter, gets it back out to Martin. Martin driving in the lane against Fagan. Spins, kicks it back out up top to Gabby Marshall. Shot clock halfway down. Here's Caitlin Clark, top of the circle. Wants a screen from Stolke, comes around it to her right. On the give and go to Stolke, shot blocked, but they're going to get Fagan for a foul. First foul on Fagan, and that'll send the Hawkeyes to the free throw line, and not what you want to do to let the Hawkeyes cut the deficit at the stripe. They are 12 out of 13 from the free throw line tonight. They have been automatic. Stolke at the line is three for three. And right on cue, she missed the first one. Nice to know the announcer's jinx can work occasionally. One more time here for Stolke, the sophomore who's been outstanding in the NCAA tournament, but misses both free throws, and Camilla corrals the rebound before falling out of down. So the Gamecocks have it, leading by nine. Here's their first possession of the fourth quarter. Raven Johnson dribbling to her right. Delivers up top to Tessa Johnson. Her defender falls down, so she will drive, pull up from the free throw line. Got it! Tessa Johnson with a career-high 17 points here in the national championship. And the Gamecocks lead 70 to 59. Smooth stroke off the dribble there for Tessa. Here come the Hawkeyes. Minute gone by here in the fourth quarter. Here's Caitlin Clark up top around a screen to her right. Pull up from the free throw line. Got it. Got the shooter's roll to cut the deficit. 70 to 61. 27 points for Clark now. Here's Full Wiley left side. Pull up from the baseline. Rolls it in for two. And it's 72 61. Full Wiley with her first points of the second half. Gives her nine in the game. Back to an 11-point lead. Here's Caitlin Clark trying to drive. Oh, they're going to get a hand check foul on the Gamecocks. you got to be kidding me. Gamecocks creating some separation, and the Stripes want to make it closer as Fagan will pick up her second foul. you got to be kidding. 8.41 to play. Non-shooting. Iowa will retain possession here off the <coughs> foul. Here's Caitlin Clark on the right wing. Guarded by Raven Johnson. 72-61 Gamecocks. Feed it at the free throw line to Stolke, who's almost traveled as she was almost knocked over by her own player. The entry pass was kicked away. By one of the Gamecock defenders that will remain with Iowa. Caitlin Clark hit Stolke and almost caused her to travel. Here's Gabby Marshall right side. One of the Gamecock defenders falls down. Kate Martin's got an uncontested jumper but missed it from 10 feet. Gamecocks get the rebound. Leading 72-61, 8.20 to play in the fourth quarter. Full Wiley drives in the lane, finds Chloe Kitts under the basket. Kitts couldn't finish, but there's Camilla with the rebound. Stick back is good. And the Gamecocks lead 74-61 with 8.10 to play, our largest lead of 13 points. Here's Caitlin Clark the other way. Bounce pass in the lane to Martin. High off the glass, no good. Oh, my gosh, a late whistle and a foul on Camilla. That'll be her second. Oh, that was a late whistle. 
And that'll send the Hawkeyes to the free throw line again where they've done a nice job, 12 out of 15. Lead is 13, but Kate Martin at the line for a pair. And again, she is not the one you want to put at the stripe. Four for four tonight. 87% on the year for the graduate student from Edwardsville, Illinois. She is just absolutely tremendous from 15 feet, but she missed the first one. Did I mention she was an 87% foul shooter? Averages 13 points a game. <laughs> and she hits the second one. 74-62, the lead cut to 12 with eight minutes to play here. Raven Johnson across the timeline. Looks to Coach Staley for the play. Gamecocks trying to take some air out of the ball here. Feed it down low to Camilla. Camilla trying to back in. Puts the shot up, no good. Rebound, Chloe Kitts, and Kitts will finish. And the Gamecocks lead 76-62. Kitts in double figures with 11. Here come the Hawkeyes. Caitlin Clark trying to drive against Tessa Johnson. Oh, got away with a carry. Gets it on the baseline. Jumper up, no good. But a foul on Full Wiley's going to send her to the line. And that was a poor decision there by the freshman Full Wiley. Got there late and fouled her well after the shot went up. You can't keep giving them free chances like that with the clock not moving. Fourth team foul already on the Gamecocks. You do not want to allow the Hawkeyes to catch up at the line and stop the clock. It's only the fourth team foul, so the next one puts them in the bonus. A falter at the line where she's 83% on the year. Hits the first one to make it 76-63. Hawkeyes have hit 14 out of 18 free throws. Gamecocks does two out of seven. She'll hit them both, and the lead is trimmed, 76-64. Gamecock ball with seven and a half minutes to play. Raven Johnson playing traffic cop, picked up by Caitlin Clark. Right elbow to Ashlyn Watkins. Watkins back out to Raven. Trying to drive the lane right side on Caitlin Clark. Rolls out, no good. That went halfway down, popped out. Here come the Hawkeyes in transition, but Full Wiley will knock the ball out of bounds to save the layup. Otherwise, it would have been an easy transition bucket there. We'll get Breezy Hall into the game. She'll pick up Raven. Iowa ball. Gamecocks lead is 12 with 7-12 to play. Caitlin Clark will bring it in. Baseline right side. Breezy Hall guarding the inbound. They get it into Gabby Marshall right side. Up top to a falter. Now Caitlin Clark right side. Thought about the deep three. Didn't pull the trigger. One-on-one. Now she'll step back into a deep three and bury it. A logo three there, and that cuts the deficit to single digits, 76-67, and that gets the Iowa fans back in it. And Full Wiley way out of control, drove into three Iowa defenders and threw the ball away. The freshman, too much there. Another deep three, no good for Caitlin Clark, but they get the rebound, kicking out to Gabby Marshall, and she buries the three. And just like that, the lead down to six at 76-70 with six and a half minutes to play. It's an eight-nothing run for the Hawkeyes. Lead down to six. Tessa Johnson delivers left side to Breezy. Hawkeye fans on their feet. Carolina needs a bucket here. Shot clock at 15. Couple of bad possessions. Full Wally, far corner to Breezy. Gets her man in the air. Pulls up from 15. In and out, no good. Hawkeyes with the rebound. Gamecocks have gone cold here. And the ball stolen away by Ashlyn Watkins. Poked it from behind out of a falter's hands. And Gamecocks will have it on the turnover. Lead is just six with six minutes to play. Need a bucket and a good possession. Here's Tessa Johnson. Puts it on the floor. Goes baseline. Has her shot blocked, but they're going to call a foul. Oh, my goodness. Stop the world. They called a foul on Caitlin Clark. Or did they? Or are they going to put it on Kate Martin? <laughs> yeah, they put it on Kate Martin. Of course, it wasn't on Caitlin Clark. We'll get Tina Pow Pow in the game for Full Wiley. I thought Caitlin Clark was the one guarding her there. But they put it on 20, Kate Martin. Here's Tessa Johnson at the line. Makes the first free throw, and that snaps that 8-0 run to make it 77-70. The freshman with a career high, 18 points today. One more time. Got them both. Back to an eight-point lead. Camilla Cardoso back in. She'll pick up Chloe Kitt, who exits with 11 points. And Cox could use some stops here to get some momentum. The lead is eight with 5.58 and counting in the contest. There's Caitlin Clark across the timeline, around a screen to her right, steps back into an 18-footer, missed it short. Rebound Ashlyn Watkins, and the Gamecocks have it. Need a good possession here. Try to push it back up to double figures with 5.45 to play in the contest. Tessa on the right wing, guarded by Clark. Stop and go dribble, drives the lane, needs some help, feeds it inside to Watkins. 
Watkins kicks it back out to Breezy. Breezy doesn't pull the trigger. 12 on the shot clock. Up top to Tessa. Down low, Camilla. Camilla double teamed. Back up top, Tessa for three. In and out, no good. Camilla with the rebound. Tries to go up, and they're going to call a held. Oh, they're going to call a travel. The baseline um official called a held ball, and the official furthest away from it called a travel. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> Iowa ball. Eight-point lead for the Gamecocks. We're midway through the fourth quarter. Here's Kate Martin around a screen. On the roll inside. Ball knocked away and out of bounds by Ashlyn Watkins, recognizing the pick and roll to prevent the layup. That's what killed the Gamecocks in last year's national semifinal, the pick and roll, but Watkins was up to the task. 5-11 to play in the game. Gamecocks lead is 8. It was 14 just moments ago, but the Hawkeyes had an 8-0 run to cut it to 6. Tessa Johnson out. Raven Johnson back in. Clark will bring it in. Baseline left side. Feeds it into Martin, and she gets a layup as she beat Ashlyn Watkins to the spot and the lead down to 6 again. 78-72. Watkins got fooled badly on the inbound pass. We're midway through the 4th. It's a 6-point lead for South Carolina. Here's Raven Johnson. Signals the play as we settle into the half court. Have not been able to get the transition offense going. Shot clock at 13. Breezy Hall left side to the top of the circle. Passes left to Raven. Shot clock under 10. Tries to use the screen. Pulls up from 15 feet. That's not a good shot. Watkins had the rebound, and she's fouled underneath by Kate Martin. Gamecocks will have it. Good big board there for Ashlyn Watkins in South Carolina. Gamecocks will have it when we come back, leading 78-72 with 4.39 to play in the contest. South Carolina postseason basketball is presented by Optus Bank, and you're listening to Carolina Basketball from Learfield. Foul also in double figures with 11 for Iowa. Caitlin Clark with 30 points tonight, 16 points for Kate Martin, 11 for Hannah Stolke. The Gamecocks can find a way. Timeouts remaining. Two for Iowa, three for South Carolina. Fouls are a factor. Next one by South Carolina will put Iowa in the bonus. Iowa has only committed, well, has only been called for two fouls here in the fourth quarter. On the floor for the Gamecocks, Tahina Pow Pow, Ashlyn Watkins, Breezy Hall, Raven Johnson, Camilla Cardoso. Carolina ball underneath their own basket. Raven Johnson to bring it in. Baseline right side. As everyone sets up. And Cox need a bucket here. Raven looking. Got to hurry to avoid the five. Goes up top to Camilla. Camilla will settle at left side to Breezy. Shot clock at 15. Breezy drives. Pulls up inside the free throw line. Got it. Breezy Hall with the bucket. Makes it 80 to 72. Big bucket for Breezy. She's got seven points, and they all of it here in the second half. 4.25 to play. Here's Caitlin Clark the other way, driving on the baseline. Feeds it, ball knocked loose. It'll go, no, it won't go over and back, but the Gamecocks try to tie it up. They can't do it. A falter will drive the lane, puts it up and in, and she's fouled. Count the basket, chance for a three-point play. Oh, that's a big play there. Gamecocks thought they were going to get the turnover. Should have been a held ball. Looked like the ball is tied up for a couple of seconds near midcourt, but they let them play on. And a falter gets the hoop and the harm, and just like that, it's 80-74 to 74 with the follow-up free throw coming. A falter with 11 points and is 2 for 2 from the line. That is a big non-call there. She hits the follow-up free throw, and the lead down to 5, 80-75 with 4.13 to play in the contest. Thought we were going to get a held ball. Here's Raven Johnson across the timeline. Now Pow Pow dribbling to her right, top of the arc. On the right wing, guarded by Gabby Marshall. Shot clock at 15 to Watkins halfway down the lane. Back out to Raven, left side for three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Caitlin Clark. Hawkeyes have it. They can make it a one-possession game with 3.50 to play. Here's Caitlin Clark, guarded by Breezy. Lost the handle. She dribbled it off her shoe, but gets it back. Breezy picks her up again. Passes left corner to Gabby Marshall. Shot clock halfway down. Up top it comes Kate Martin. Martin guarded by Camilla on the switch. Tries to drive the lane. Spins, and yeah, travel. Thank you. Thank you. And the Gamecocks will have it on the turnover. Leading by just five. The lead was 14 just four minutes ago. But the Hawkeyes have heated up. 3.25 to play here in the national championship. Here's Watkins, top of the circle. Hands it off to Pow Pow. Pow Pow dribbling to her right. Guarded by Gabby Marshall. Shot clock halfway down. Raven left wing. 
Looking inside. We have not been able to get it inside to Camilla as of late. Shot clock at 10. Here's Pow Pow up top. Seven to shoot it. Pow Pow on the drive left side. Kind of cut off. Nice her way in and a foul as she tried to drive with two seconds on the shot clock. And that'll send her to the line for a pair. Tahina Pow Pow saw the clock winding down and took it to the hole and got fouled. Third team foul with 3.03 to play. And now Pow Pow at the line for the first time. Just a five-point lead for the Gamecocks. And she missed the first one. And you know it's not your day at the line when Pow Pow, an 86% foul shooter, misses one. Gamecocks are just four out of ten from the line. Second one for Pow. Got it. And the Gamecocks lead 81-75. We'll get Tessa Johnson in. She'll pick up Breezy Hall. Six-point lead with 3.03 to play in the contest. Caitlin Clark will bring it up for the Hawkeyes. Gamecocks got to get set up defensively. Clark around the screen, top of the circle, ball knocked loose, but they recover. Martin drives, feeds it in the lane, shot blocked by Camilla, and Camilla with the rebound. Huge defensive play for the National Defensive Player of the Year. And the Gamecocks lead is six with 2.45 to play. Trying to stretch it out some more. 2-1-2 zone here, I believe, by Iowa. Nope, they're going to pick up man-to-man. Raven with 15 to shoot it, dribbling right. Zipping through a couple of defenders. Pulls up from the foul line. Didn't go. Camilla with the rebound. Stick back is good. And the Gamecocks lead 83-75 with 2.27 to play. Camilla with 15. Long three by Caitlin Clark. Won't go down from NBA range. Rebound to the Gamecocks. 2.18 to play. Gamecocks with an eight-point lead. We'll work some clock here. Need a bucket to try to pull it out to double figures. The Gamecock bench imploring their fans behind the bench to get into it. 15 on the shot clock. Raven being hounded by Caitlin Clark. And finally, they call the foul on Caitlin Clark on the double touch. They've been calling that all night on the other end of the floor. Finally got her for a double touch foul. Stolke will check in for the Hawkeyes. She'll pick up O'Grady. Carolina ball with 2.04 to play, leading 83-75. Pow Pow will trigger it in in front of the scorer's table by the Gamecock bench. They won't guard the inbound. Get it into Tessa and we're underway. Back to Pow Pow right wing. Shot clock at 15. Under two minutes to play in the national championship. Eight point lead for the Gamecocks. To Camilla up top. Under nine now. Here's Pow Pow. Eyes the shot clock. Pulls up for three. No good. Fight for the rebound and a foul underneath on Iowa. And that'll keep it with the Gamecocks. Going to put that one on Kate Martin. That is her fourth. And that'll put the Gamecocks in the bonus, but now you got to hit the free throws. Gamecocks does 5 out of 11 from the line tonight. We'll send Cardoso to the line, and Cardoso, for all the good things she's done, has not been good at the line tonight. She's got 15 points, 15 rebounds, but she's just 1 out of 5 from the free throw line. Oh, well, now they're going to put Ashlyn Watkins at the line. They're going to say the foul was not against Camilla. It's on Ashlyn, which unfortunately is not much better. Watkins only a 56% free throw shooter. Has just two points tonight, five rebounds after those 20 rebounds. The other night against NC State, missed the first one. Free throws are killing the Gamecocks here in the national championship. They're five for 12. Watkins at the line again with 147 to play. Got the second one, and it's 84-75, 147 to play. Here's Caitlin Clark, quickly across the timeline, drives into the lane, floats it high off the glass, no good. Tessa with the rebound, and the Gamecocks have it. 137 to play. Gamecocks lead, 84 to 75. Raven Johnson across the timeline. Caitlin Clark with some tight pressure. Gamecocks trying to work clock, and there's a foul on Caitlin Clark as they needed to stop the clock, and that'll put Raven Johnson at the line. A good strategy. They have to foul right now with the Gamecocks leading by nine. And the way Gamecocks have shot free throws tonight, you got to keep fouling them. They're just six out of 13. And Raven is only a 62% free throw shooter. First one rolls off the rim, no good. My goodness. This game could be over if the Gamecocks could hit free throws. Here's Raven at the line again. Second free throw, got it. And it's a 10-point lead at 85-75, 126 to play. Here comes Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes. Hands it back to Kate Martin. Oh, she got away with a walk, drives the lane, puts it up, no good. Rebound, Camilla, and the Gamecocks have it. 
115 to play. Hawkeyes are going to have to foul, you'd think. Gamecocks got to get it across. We'll get it across the pow pow. 105 to play, and Caitlin Clark with the foul there. It'll be her third, and the Gamecocks will be at the line for two here. 107 to play. Can the Gamecocks hold on? The lead is 10. Tahina Pow Pow at the stripe. She's got a dozen. Just one out of two from the stripe tonight. Pow Pow at the line. First one is good, and it's 86-75. One more time for Pow Pow. Gamecocks erasing an 11-point deficit. Pow Pow hits them both, and it's 87-75, and the Gamecocks faithful starting to cheer. Caitlin Clark across the timeline, driving against Raven. Puts a shot up in the paint, missed it. Rebound, Camilla. Gamecocks have it. Raven across the timeline. Ball knocked out of her hands. Hawkeyes trying to tie it up. Gamecocks uh, couldn't tie it up. Timeout is called by Iowa. It'll be Iowa ball in the turnover with 53.5 seconds to play. So now the one thing for South Carolina, you don't want to foul and make it a three or a four-point play. We gave them three I gave them fouls on two three-point shots in the first half. Iowa with one timeout remaining. The Gamecocks have three. Both teams in the bonus. The Gamecocks with a 12-point lead with 53.5 seconds to play. South Carolina looking for its third national championship. Trying to avenge the loss against Iowa from last year. In the final four. Gamecock faithful behind the bench, standing up, waving the rally towels. Watkins, the two Johnsons, Pow Pow and Cardoso on the floor. Got to be smart here. Don't give up anything quick and certainly don't foul. 53.5 seconds to go. It's a 12-point lead, Iowa basketball. Martin will trigger it in in front of the scorer's table next to their bench. We won't guard the inbound pass. Martin looks, feeds it all the way to Stolke across the way. Now Caitlin Clark had the ball knocked away and stolen. Raven Johnson with the steal. She'll bring it across midcourt. The Hawkeyes not fouling immediately. 45 seconds to play. They're not going to foul. The Gamecocks are going to win their third national championship. It's happening, folks. History is going to be made in Cleveland as South Carolina is the 10th team in the fifth program to go undefeated and win the national championship. 25 seconds to play, four on the shot clock. Gamecocks will just let the shot clock expire here and turn it over to Iowa with 20 seconds to play. 87-75 Gamecocks, Iowa will have it here. And the Hawkeyes will get some subs in here to give the curtain call to their stars, including Caitlin Clark. Checking in Molly Davis and Sharon Goodman for the first time as Gabby Marshall comes out along with Hannah Stolke. Caitlin Clark gets a well-deserved big hub. The National Player of the Year has delivered Iowa to the National Championship game two years in a row. But South Carolina will come on out on top tonight. And the Gamecocks will go to their bench as well. Sakima Walker will make her first appearance in the Final Four to give Camilla Cardoso a curtain call. 15 points, a career-high 17 rebounds for Camilla Cardoso. Twenty seconds to play. Iowa with the basketball. They'll bring it across. The clock will tick down. The Gamecocks are making history in Cleveland. They'll be the tenth team, the fifth program to go undefeated and win the national championship. They will avenge their loss to Iowa from last year. The clock ticks down. Two seconds to play. Celebration in Cleveland. Perfection wears garnet and black. The South Carolina Gamecocks complete their first perfect season with their third national championship. The best team in the nation will cut down the nets as the Gamecocks defeat Iowa 87-75 to here in Cleveland. The confetti falls from the sky. Celebration at midcourt. The Gamecocks are national champions again. History in Cleveland. An undefeated season for the Gamecocks. At 38-0, the most wins in program history. They will hoist the trophy and cut down the nets. We'll take a timeout and start our wrap-up in just a moment. South Carolina postseason basketball is presented by Optus Bank, and you're listening to National Championship Carolina Basketball from Learfield. 
And we welcome you back to Cleveland. South Carolina is national champions for the third time. The Gamecocks defeat Iowa here 87-75 to to win their third national championship. They're building the stage down below us. Gamecocks rally from an 11-point deficit in the first half to knock off number two Iowa for their third national championship. Let's run through the final numbers in the contest as we bring into the post-game locker room report driven by Jim Hudson Automotive. Gamecocks shoot 48% here in the national championship game, 35 out of 73, 8 out of 19 from three-point range for 42%. Free throws almost killed them, almost killed me, 9 out of 17 for 53%. Gamecocks, 13 turnovers, but they out-rebounded the Hawkeyes greatly, 51 to 29. Leading scores in the contest for the Gamecocks, Tessa Johnson, the freshman, a career-high 19 points off the bench. Camilla Cardoso, 15 points, a career-high 17 rebounds. 14 points for Tahina Pow Pow. 11 points for Chloe Kitts to go along with 10 rebounds for another double-double. Breezy Hall with 7 points, I believe all in the second half. Mylesia Fulwiley had 9 points. 6 points off the bench for Sanaya Fagan. 3 points for Raven Johnson. And 3 points for Ashlyn Watkins to round out South Carolina scoring. For Iowa, they shot 40% from the floor, 25 out of 63, hit 9 out of 23 from three-point range for 39%. They were killing it at the free throw line, 16 out of 20 for 80%. Led, of course, by Caitlin Clark with 30 points, but on volume shooting, Gamecock did a nice job as she was under 40%, 10 out of 28 from the floor. 30 points is big, but on 28 shots, Gamecocks will take that. 16 points for Kate Martin, 12 points for Sydney of Falter, 11 points for Hannah Stolke, and six points for Gabby Marshall to round out their scoring. Only four players scored for the Hawkeyes. South Carolina wins it. They are national champions again. They dispatch Iowa 87 to 75 to win their third national championship after graduating all five starters from last season. The new kids come back and win a title of their own. We'll take a timeout. And when the post-game locker report driven by Jim Hudson Automotive continues, we'll bring you our Terminex Pest player of the game. That's coming up after this. It's Carolina basketball from Learfield. Back in Cleveland one final time. The South Carolina Gamecocks are national champions again. Their third national championship as they rally from an 11-point deficit to knock off the number two Iowa Hawkeyes 87 to 75 as we wrap up the post-game locker room report driven by Jim Hudson Automotive. Time for our Terminex Pest player of the game. We're going with players of the game. Freshman Tessa Johnson comes off the bench, delivers a career best 19 points. The rookie hit seven out of 11 shots, three out of six from three-point range. Both of her free throws had four rebounds and one steal as well. And also Camilla Cardoso, 15 points, 17 rebounds and three block shots here in the title game. She had seven out of 14 from the floor. Her second double-double uh, in as many games here in Cleveland after a double-double as well in the win in the final fourth national semifinal. Gamecocks win it 87 to 75. They're still erecting the stage here at midcourt for the trophy presentation and MVP honors uh, will be bestowed we'll see if they if they're going to be able to do that quickly <laughs> don't know if we'll be able to get that before we leave the airwaves as uh, they still got some work to do in assembling the stage and all the post-game interviews so we'll tell you to go to uh, uh check gamecocks online gamecocks uh women wbb on twitter as well for all the uh, postseason awards here this may take a minute but the gamecocks are national champions again 87 to 75 again our terminex best players of the game Sponsored by Terminex, the leader in written guarantees, the most respected name in termite and pest control. That's going to do it for another fantastic season of South Carolina women's basketball as the Gamecocks make history and go undefeated and win their third national championship, 87-75. to It's been a great year. It's been a lot of fun. We look forward to doing it again starting next no November. For our producer, Ed Bird, thanks for all his work all season long. Good night from Cleveland. Your, net, your Carolina Gamecocks are coming home national champions. Thanks for listening to Gamecock Basketball from Learfield. Now, extra when you're like eight years old, your your brothers move wherever you go. How do you describe that? what your family's poured into you tonight? They're so important to me, man. I'm just so happy and blessed to, you know, have them here with me. And, man, I bet my dad's crying right now. He's probably going to be mad that I said that. But he's probably emotional right now. I miss you, Dad and Mom. Love y'all. Tessa, you are a 
freshman, you come into the national championship game and you just are unbothered by the stage. What was your mindset like on your first couple of threes? Well, I wanted to win. Our team, we want to win. And my teammates are just encouraging, always having my back, telling me, play how you play. So I just did that. I think there's a lot of people that might get nervous, that might think they're letting their team down, or how do I perform on this stage? Why didn't you feel like that tonight? It didn't show. I don't feel pressure because the team that I have and the coaches that I have, they're like, no matter if I make a mistake, they're always going to encourage me, and they're never going to let me give up on myself. Your teammates, they could be mad that you're getting all this playing time in the huddle tonight. How is it that you are all so unselfish that no matter whose night it is, that's okay. The culture that Coach Staley built, the atmosphere, the environment that we're in, it's all, we're unselfish people, and that's that's how we win it. I know your mom and dad are here, your, your two sisters that play basketball, your brother Jeremiah. What do you say to your family, Tessa? I love you all, and I couldn't do it without you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, South Carolina celebrates just the 10th undefeated champion in the history of women's college basketball tears of joy from dawn staley a third championship for her gamecocks nobody expected it with this group after losing all five starters but they delivered time and time again including today going up against the best player in the nation while well, south carolina celebrates caitlin clark says goodbye Well, congratulations to the national champions, the South Carolina Gamecocks. Champions for a third time. Yeah, in Columbia, they are ready to celebrate. It's old hat at this point. They're used to it. And the confetti flies once again for South Carolina. A second championship in the last three seasons. Let's take a look at our Capital One rewarding performance. The rewarding performance was the separator, Camilla Cardoso, the 6-7 center. She was virtually unstoppable in this game, finished with 15 points on 7 of 14 from the floor, blocking shots, three of them on the day, 17 rebounds, seven of them on the offensive end. Iowa simply did not have an answer for that young woman. Cardoso, the separator, according to Dawn Staley, and yes, she was once again today. 87-75 the final in the national championship game as South Carolina, despite losing all five of its starters from a season ago, climbs back to the top of the college basketball world. Take a look at the most national titles by coach. Gino Oriema with 11, Pat Summit with eight, Kim Mulkey with four, and Tara Vanderveer and Dawn Staley now with three. Those are the only five coaches with at least three national championships. And with the, the performance we saw from South Carolina's freshman today, <laughs> I don't think South Carolina is done with that number three. Yeah, not hard to imagine that number growing and soon. Not hard to imagine the other teams around the country and coaches saying, wait, Tessa Johnson and Mylasia Full Wiley are just getting started? Both were so key off the bench. And we saw how connected this group was, Rebecca, throughout the week. There really hasn't been long moments of jealousy about minutes or concerns. They truly have been comfortable and confident with their roles and sharing the love throughout this season and that is what has been at the heart of Dawn Staley being able to play this nine player rotation. I mean, not a single one of their players averaged more than 28 minutes. It is fun to play unselfish basketball. It is fun to watch unselfish basketball and certainly the nine women who have made up the core of this South Carolina team have enjoyed playing with one another all season long and it's been a team that's been fun to watch all season long. And how about this, Rebecca? Caitlin Clark, a record 18 points in the first quarter. After that, South Carolina made Raven Johnson 
her primary defender. Clark went just 5 of 20 following that throughout the rest of the game. Johnson talked about this being personal. She did not shoot it well today. It was just 1 of 11, but she really performed on the defensive end. We saw how hard she worked to try to force Caitlin Clark to go right, how hard she worked fighting over screens. It takes a lot of effort, especially when your shot's not dropping, to keep up that intensity on the defensive end of the floor. And Raven Johnson certainly did that all game long. All right, time to send things over to Holly Rowe at the podium. Ryan, we're having a dance party. We're not quite ready for you because we're having fun up here. But Dawn is here. Coach Staley's coming. Well, thank you to everyone who's here tonight. Women's basketball is having its best season in the history of the sport, and we could not do it without every single person in this building. We are so very grateful. Joining me on stage to help present the trophy, the Vice President of Women's Basketball for the NCAA, Lynn Holzman, and the Chair of the Division I Women's Basketball Committee, Lisa Peterson. Now to present the trophy. Wow, what a tournament, what a game. On behalf of the NCAA and the Division I Women's Basketball Committee, I'd like to present the 2024 National Championship Trophy to Coach Don Staley and the South Carolina Gamecocks. tonight to achieve perfection before I do anything I gotta give I gotta give honor to the most high God for allowing us to be back at the same place in which we had sad tears and I just want you to know that the God I serve the God I serve when he closes a door he opens up a door that is, that's given you unimaginable success. This is uncommon favor. Amen. Coach, it really is, and you, you know, I thought you were gonna say when he closes the door, he opens a window, because the glass is really why you won this game tonight, the rebounding. How do you describe the impact that Camila Cardoso has had on your team, a career high 17 boards tonight? Camila Cardoso, was not going to let us lose a game in the NCAA tournament. Um, she played through, a, through an injury. Um, she played like one of the top picks in the WNBA draft. And her teammates, her, her teammates did something that no other teammates have ever done for anybody that went to the WNBA in our program. They send her off as a national champion. So this is history for us. I would like to announce our most outstanding player today. The most outstanding player for the 2024 NCAA championship is from Montes Claros, Brazil, Camila Cardoso. You've just won the national championship. Where are you headed next? I'm headed to Disney World! I love it. Um, before we get out of here, I do want to give this young woman a shout out. Chloe Kitts, you led this team in rebounding in the half. You, you've been up and down. Your defense, Raven Johnson. I, 
I wish I could literally interview every young person up here because you were crucial. How important is this for you after everything you've fought through? I mean, it feels amazing. I've been through so many ups and downs uh, from last year, and I'm just so excited that I'm able to celebrate a national championship with my teammates. I love everyone, and I'm very excited. Thank you. And Raven, your defense tonight was brilliant. I know you wanted Raven's Revenge Tour all year long. Let's talk about the, the defense. would just like to say that um, I, I have to congratulate Iowa on an incredible season. Awesome, awesome. And I, I want to personally thank Caitlin Clark for lifting up our sport. Her, she, carried a, she carried a heavy load for our sport. And it just is not going to stop here on the collegiate tour. But when she is the number one pick in the WNBA draft, she's gonna she's gonna lift that league up as well. So so Caitlin Clark, if you're out there, you are one of the goats of our games. And we appreciate you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Be sure and support all of these women next year. Watch the WNBA. The draft is April 15th. And thank you to everybody. Congratulations to your 2024 national champions, the South Carolina Gamecocks. Yeah! Thank you. Well, I'll thank you so much, Holly. What an incredibly classy moment there with Dawn Staley recognizing Caitlin Clark. And South Carolina celebrates in the confetti as our power team at the desk, L. Duncan, Andrea Carter, Chenea Gumake, Carolyn Peck, Aaliyah Boston, ready to go. Thank you so much, Rye. Well, you